Yeah, sir, what is goodery gangery? This is my first vlog with braces. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, I got some foodery right here. <clears throat> but I just got my braces on like two weeks ago. Or I think a week and a half ago, just about. And they're kind of, they're kind of trash. They hurt. Sometimes I got like a cut in my mouth because of them. I don't know, it's pretty weird, but soon I'll have a perfect smile or a perfect-ish smile. As of right now, I'm walking around like a 15-year-old. But I have nothing really planned for this vlog. I'm not riding right now, I'm riding later on. Um, but right now I help my brother make some beef jerkery. I've been doing beef jerky by myself, if y'all don't know. Beef jerkery is a beef jerkery that I created. My little small business. Link down below if you want to purchase some. If it's in stock, it might not be in stockery. But I've been doing it by myself. If you guys are into like homemade stuff rather than like store bought, shop beef jerkery. Original beef jerkery by your boy Deezery. I feel like everyone should support small businesses. If y'all don't, I think y'all really should. Small businesses need y'all support. They grow and depend on our support and y'all support. And not just my business, there's so many small businesses. You may know some of yourself, your family, your friends. I know one of your friends or family has a small business and support them. They really need it, they really appreciate it. But let's go see what my brother's doing. What's good are you? The beef jerky sauce, let me turn this off. Okay, copyrighted. What is this is, bro? It's the sauce. The saucery? Yes, sir. For the beef jerkery? But yeah, this is the process. So I'm teaching him how to make some. Because I'm not a chef. He's a chef. But I got to teach him how to make it the right way. And this is the other stuff for it, but y'all can't see that. That's my brother, Daniel. He is four years younger than me. So that's my little brother. And technically, it's still summer. A lot of kids his age, um, especially when I was at that age. During the summer, don't got too much going on. It's I was kind of lazy in the summer. A um, little bit, I was either riding, having fun, playing the game, or sleeping in. Um, so, I mean, me giving him the responsibility to make jerkery is good. And it's not free labor because I'm paying him to do it. So, just something to keep my brother busy. A lot of kids his age, you know, do the same thing. Play games, go to the mall, do whatever. That's cool and all, but at some point, you got to, you know, kind of grow up. And change your perspective, change what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I'm kind of trying to get my brother to form that mindset where when the summer comes around, you can't just do nothing. And I got a lot of stuff going on, if y'all don't know. Beef jerkery from Deezery, um, riding bikes, content, like right now. So it's kind of smarter for me to give him that responsibility to try something new, make some money, and just learn. So right now, I'm rewriting the ingredients um, for the beef jerkery so it's more clear for him to read because how I wrote it is for me to read. So now I gotta make it visible to him. And I hope it's easy to understand me with the braces. But these been kind of weird. Like I'm still getting used to it. I had one for a week and a half. But if you guys have braces or had them, comment down below any tips, advice for me. Because I read all my comments. I try to reply to all my comments. And if y'all drop some advice, I can look at it and it'll probably save our lips, save my life, save my teeth to read, save my time. But let me know. Yo, what is good are we? New day, good morning from me. To y'all, I'm not sure what time it is over there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. But today's a whole new day. Obviously, new outfit, uh, new vibe. I'm outside of here. Right now, it's Friday, 4 till 8, or 7.56. But I'm really tired right now. And my braces is irritating my lip, bruh. I gotta sore my lip because my braces cut it. And y'all know how that go. I'm tired, but I'm stoked. I'm on the way to audition slash callback for a commercial, I think. I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's a commercial. So I did my audition, so now I'm going to a callback. A callback is like another audition, basically. I made it past the first stage, now I'm at the second stage. So I still have an opportunity to get the uh, opportunity, but also don't mean I got the opportunity yet, if that makes sense. It's like a second round of uh the booking basically and this specific company is looking for a bicycle stunt rider that rides a 26 or 29 that's really specific but i have an idea of what they're looking for they're looking for willies they're looking for willies on big bikes so you see the goonery i don't think i need my bike for whatever i'm doing today um they requested to have pictures of it 
but you know i might ride to la so that's why the vloggery is outsidery that's why the bikery the goonery is on the back don't panic and as y'all know i usually have a mouth mount for my camera but with my braces i can't put the mount not on so i got my helmet obviously i order my helmet now videos you see on i just i got my helmet on because i'm wearing it more often because helmets are cool they keep you protected I look professional. I look dope with a helmet on. I'm pretty sure you do too. And if you don't have one yet, I'm not sure why. Cop one. I got the S1 helmet. And you guys like the helmet I wear? I'm going to leave a link down below so you can get you one too. Not sponsored, by the way. Traffic is very terrible in a car. I'd rather be on the Goonery. No Capri. So, the audition went good. I left. I never let y'all know when I got there. But I got there. I waited for like five minutes and then went in. Did my audition they asked me like some questions it wasn't really an audition i think i got the role which is really good they asked me some questions about the bike if i can do combos if i can ride near people at the beach and i said yes of course i can don't panic and this is where i'm at now where'd she go look how people where we live y'all don't know where i'm at right now y'all do not know where i'm at if you haven't met dz he is amazing but his facial expressions will throw you off because half of the time I think he is like, like hates me, but it's just his face. Oh, DZ edition! So I'm about to put the DZ edition in the trunk for a special reason. For a special reason. Y'all, if you didn't know, DZ does not just ride a bike. He is also a mechanic. Hit him up for your local fixes. I do not work for free though. It's $20 for him just to look at your bike. <laughs> Yeah. And um, any other further altercations will be an additional pricing. Only got a consultation. But you get the DZ touch. No cavalry. Y'all don't know yet. Let me take this part. So everybody get my new bike. The DZ Edition V2 is coming. What's good, Ari? <laughs> Can I'm I help here you? here with your, your duck plate, your fried rice, shrimp fried rice, extra soy sauce. Yo, hey, I got you on the hot seat right now on the speaker with, D, with DZ and Kinley. Yeah, we're gonna need to change that. So like I said, I packed the DZ edition, well, technically the V1 away in my trunkery because we're about to get the V2. The V2, the same color, same size, but different components, improvements. So be ready and don't panic, it's on the way. We're going to the HQ to pick it up right now after Jalopy waxes his head and Kenley needs to put her face on. Oh <laughs> and, then, my God. and then we outside. Yo, 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 I don't. I told her, look, look, look. Me personally, y'all, this is probably not relevant to y'all, but I don't care for makeup. I like natural faces. No, he did. He did. He's joking. I, um, I was saying that I wear makeup because I feel confident. I'm not I'm not doing makeup. That's the problem though. That's the problem. You shouldn't need products to tune mask, in, to, tune in for our therapy you sessions. Need, you don't need to match your face to have confidence. I'm still confident. It's just when I like and I love doing makeup. But it's not even personal. It's like in general females shouldn't shouldn't rely on makeup to give them confidence. They should rely on a natural face and then Yeah, love yourself. No matter if you wear makeup, if you don't, whatever. Love yourself. But if you're wondering where I'm at, this is Jalopy's new cribbery. Yo, don't show them. In LA. I'm not gonna show the whole crib because it's not done yet. And I can't let I can't burn the spot out. But yeah. this is what y'all can see though. Y'all see four windows outside, a nice view of Melrose and some construction currently. But it's nice in here. Right now feeling really good. And you know, I packed up my stuff on a random weekday and moved across the country. That's all I've ever known. So if you want to be friends with me, follow me on Instagram and DM me. Who is her trying to promote herself in my vlogger? I don't have friends. DZ only talks to me because he wants stuff. Definitely not. She has a thousand plus followers. Thanks to who? I don't know why you and O were arguing, saying who got me those followers. Bro, there's people with millions. If we didn't tag her, she would have... 400 no and 32 i had 12 followers when you tagged me because i was not public i had a finsta and then dz tagged me and i got like hundreds of requests so i was like i guess this is my time to like go out and bow the down that's that crazy door. spotted that kid over there knew me in the car too <laughs> mtv welcome to my crib 
If you getting spotted out here, I like getting spotted. It's dope. In a way. If you see DZ, say hi. Say what's up. Don't be weird though. I'm eating. Make it brief. <laughs> and don't run up on me. I don't like that. Just keep it brief. Keep it cool. Be, be yourself. Don't touch me either. Social distance. <laughs> Make sure you have a mask on. I'm gonna sanitize you. A long time later, we're finally at the warehouse. HQ. Hey. Meanwhile. Yes, sir. What is good to read bike life? I'm back in the HQ. You see what I have here? The new and improved DZ Edition V2 is on its way. Be ready for that. As the sport progresses, as you guys are prospering, we have to keep up with you guys. We have new improvements like the CNC aluminum stem for the Willie guys. Three-piece Kamali crunch for the big senders. New and improved axles, 14 millimeter. We're one of the first to do that on a BMX bike. Specifically 27.5, be ready for that. Combo Kings, be ready. New throne cycles, chain tensioners, along with any bike it comes with. As well as a wider gap in the chain study to fit any tire you desire. Also got the colors electric blue and metal combat coming. So be ready, get yours. I got mine, don't panic. We loading up the V2, we finally out of here. So we get the tool store. I need a new socket for my bike because I do not have an 18 millimeter socket wrench to take my back wheel off. As y'all know, the new Goon XL has a different axle and different bolt, so I need a new one. It looks like they don't have it here though, individually. I'm not buying a whole set of e. This man is lost. So Kenley is about to be behind the camera. I don't feel like vlogging today, or the rest of the day. I vlogged all day today, so she got the camera. He did the intro, I'm gonna be the hands behind the magic, but um. My brace is not broken in, so I'm not sure if I got weaponry. Uh, some brakes that aren't broken in, but we'll see right now. Sheesh! Sheesh! Dizzy! Crocs and socks! Crocs and socks! So, what are your thoughts before a ride out? My thoughts? Hope no drama pops out. Pops off. Hope everybody stay safe. Hope you are successful and don't panic. Safety comes first, y'all. Okay. Bro. Always with the helmet. What a role model, inspiration. If you had to choose, you picking the V2, the Jalupi. I'm buying the V2. I'm sliding that. Or the King Slava. Slide on my wheels cost as much as your whole bike. Ooh! This dude's first time on the V2. Oh, V2 -ery. Oh, look, so sweet. Always helping people. What a nice. Oh, and then that kid cuts her off. How freaking nice. It's fine. Don't try to die home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pop it up. <laughs> you ain't no y'all soldery, no lot. No, no cavalry. You feel me? The white girlery. Oh. Ah, yes, sir. My boy is so purpery. Look at my boy, the Indianery. Without the Indianery, no! Look at my son, Diddy's read. No cavalry. Hey, uh, everybody follow C Breezery. C R A Z Y B O I. He's not gonna put this in. C B R E E Z Y. But if you do put this in, editor, I'll kick Slover on Instagram. Hey, yo! Oh! Okay, guys, we're rolling. DZ's in the back. But next clip, cut to DZ doing a trick. <laughs> yo! Yeah.
Q&A segment on the wheelie edition. So, um, so that makes your horoscope what? Oh, next question. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I love them. Um, that's another combo. But, what's another question? Um, what's... Next question, who is this man right here? Who is this? Whose father is this? Whose father is this? Whose father is this? <laughs> Don't even trip. See what I did there because you tripped earlier? <laughs> Spinnery. Hey. Hey. Guys, I'm guessing he's gonna get either a Gatorade or if I'm right, you have to subscribe and like right now. The future right here. <laughs> Inspiring the youth always. We got toothpaste. Unless you use some Vietnamese. <laughs> 20 miles. <laughs> These crazy people. What? Oh, my car is dented now. Bro. The trusty bike rackery, unreallery. What happened? Alright, keep my car check. Look at the dents in her. Dude, I think I broke both of my wheels. Say you swear. Yeah, it was bouncing on the wheels. That's what I'm worried about. So you knew like it was gonna happen? As soon as I felt it hit the bump, I saw it come off. Jeez. And that's when I pulled over I heard doom 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 doom. Oh, no. Shut the car off. Yeah, I was on my way to get a nice burrito. 